hi guys back again with another video now this video is going to be a full review real life review of the hp x360 uh laptop now this one is a 360 laptop so that's the one so we'll be talking about uh who this laptop is going to be for i've been using it for the past three months so this is new just three months old uh, and we'll be comparing it with the other laptops so i have the rogue series the gaming laptop the the beast uh you have tablet pc so two touch screen uh, laptops avio and a uh, 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 Acer uh, Transformer. So we'll be talking about uh, all of that also as an example. Uh, so you know that uh, if you should buy this or any other laptop like those. So let's go ahead, uh, take a closer look at the laptop first and then we will talk about the rest of the stuff. Okay, so let's take a look at the laptop itself. So that's the laptop. Now it's in the tent mode. We'll be talking about the modes later on. Let's see how much is it for. So it's actually for 42,130 uh, right now. Uh, now this one is now the reason why I'm showing you this like this is because uh, this claims to be an anti glare screen. Now you can clearly see there's a lot of glare coming in. Now uh, the glare is there. It's not as uh, much as my Sony wires so those actually have a lot of glare those are also touchscreen laptops uh, but it's not as good as the uh, the expensive ones the rogue series laptops it's not as good as that but it's somewhere in the middle so for the price you actually get a decent enough screen this is a HD screen so let's talk about the basics so this has a 14 inch anti glare uh, HD screen uh, and it's got an i3 8th generation processor. You have a 10th generation one also uh, available. You have i5 and the rest of the stuff also. But this is a processor which actually is made for power efficiency. It's not a processor made for performance. So uh, there are different kinds of processor. We'll be talking about that later on uh, in another video. So how do you get to know that is by this. You have this U written at the end. You have uh, two other variants, so we'll be talking about that later. Now, even though this is a power efficiency uh, laptop, it does have the turbo boost technology into it. So it's a 2.1 gigahertz laptop, which can go up to 3.6 gigahertz. So that much of power it has. Now it has 4 GB of RAM and 256 GB of SSD capacity. Now SSD capacity, you see uh, they've uh, not written HD, uh, sorry, not written a hard drive. It's a chip so it's similar to mac so it's it's a chip that you put in now if you want to upgrade the hard drive this is going to be very expensive now this is not your regular ssd hard drive this is going to be a chip the chips are more expensive and uh, you cannot like put a second one anywhere it just has one slot so you will have to replace it so the problem is replacing it is more expensive if you can upgrade it while you're buying it then that is better Okay, so let's take a closer look at the laptop now. So this is its laptop mode. So th uh, this is how you will generally use it. Now, let's go to tent mode. So it's actually easy. I can do it with one hand itself. So the hinges are that good. So this is what I wanted to show you. Now this is the tent mode. So you actually keep it like this and use it that way. Then you have the third mode, which is the tablet mode. Now, in the tablet mode, this side makes sense because uh, that much you will have to hold the uh, tablet. So you need that much of grip. So this side makes sense. But in your regular mode, this side does not make sense. Now, that's the laptop. Now, my problem with this is the speaker is now facing down. So whatever I'm playing, whatever media I'm playing, I can't hear it properly. Everything is gone. Now, in the tent mode, in the tent mode, the speaker is actually facing towards the back. So now again, I'm not getting the sound. Okay, now let's go into the tablet mode. In the tablet mode now, the sound is actually going towards the back again. So that's a big design flaw according to me. Uh, they should have thought about that. I don't know why didn't they do that. Now let's go into regular laptop mode. So in the laptop mode, the sound is in front of you, even though it's not coming this way, it's actually in front. That's decent enough. So now the sound quality is good. 
uh, on the speaker and on the earphone but on the speaker it's not uh, very loud so you will not be able to put this in a room and then listen to music uh, with the fan on and all uh, if the fan is on i have to uh, put the earphone if not i can't really understand what's going on uh, the the vocals are not that crisp so that's one thing you have to remember now uh, the keyboard on this is very good uh, very uh, it's it's not going to be those noisy keyboard it's it's regular it's tactile enough and it's backlit so the entire thing is backlit uh, the good thing about that is even with the backlit keyboard it gives me eight hours of uh, backup battery backup so that's something which you don't really get uh, that easily now the reason why this is so power efficient is one the processor it's got the u series processor it's not the m series or the, the high performance series one this is the power efficiency processor uh, you do not have any moving parts on this except for the uh, fan to cool down the uh, laptop now the mem the um, normal laptops have a hard drive the hard drive has a hard uh, has a motor and all so that actually takes a lot of power so this one has a ssd uh, chip in it so that's why this has better power efficiency now this uh, if you have a model with the same processor and a regular hard drive then the battery life will be almost half so you you can expect like four hours or something but this one gives you eight hours easily i was able to watch netflix on this for seven hours and i still had 25 percent of battery on it and um, uh, I, I really like the screen quality and the tent mode and all actually came in handy my only problem was with the fan on i could not hear anything because the speaker is not uh, facing towards me and i had to use a earphone other than that excellent option Okay, so let's talk about what are the ports available. Now, uh, on this, on the left hand side, you have the power, the uh, lock uh, port for uh, uh, this. Normally, people don't even know that this even exists. This is for uh, you used to get this wire, long wire, and then lock you lock it onto your workstation or uh, uh, in any place. Like you can actually put it around the table and then lock it so no one steals it that one is not used anymore but yes uh, you can actually use that uh, that's the vent for the fan uh, so all the hot air is actually pushed out from here uh, so that's one good thing it's not going on your legs uh, you have the 3.5 mm uh, jack and your usb port now this is a 3.0 usb port now towards the back there's nothing you have this fancy hinge which supports 360 uh, turning towards the bottom you have nothing there again you have this vent but this is not for the fan okay now towards the right hand side you have your hard drive light which is really rare nowadays for these kind of laptops but you have a hard drive light you have a ssd uh, sorry <laughs> your sd card uh, reader type c port now this is just an output port this is not an input port you cannot put a charger onto it uh, don't don't try to put your max usb type c uh, sorry uh, max type c charger into it this will not work uh, then you have a second uh, usb 3.0 port and then your hdmi port now the last one is your uh, power adapter port now next to it is the light which actually indicates if it's on and if it's fully charged so that's how uh, compact this is now this is not uh, too big not too small it's just right now who is this going to be for for any student uh, for anyone who wants to use this for uh, a long period of time like if you want to use it uh, for eight hours for you want to take it to the college and uh, use it that way this is going to be good uh, you want to use it uh, for uh, writing a book this is going to be good because of the power efficiency you want to use this for uh, multimedia purpose like you want to watch uh, movies you want to listen to music and all this will be good but uh, you'll have to put an earphone to it because the speakers are not that great uh, then if you are an artist and you want to use it as a drawing uh, pad then this is going to be good I actually tried a little bit it it was pretty good I'll show you that so you can actually install uh, different uh, softwares now I generally just use uh, the paint option now uh, with my other touchscreen laptops, I have this and this. My problem is when they are in the laptop mode, you can't really do painting properly. I'll show you why. Because when you do that, the laptop moves. Now, with this, 
you can actually turn it into a tablet and it when you're holding it you can actually put your hand on it and then write so you uh, it doesn't give you that problem where this you'll get a writing over here when you're using the pen so if, when your hand is on that it will actually uh, use palm rejection and just use the pen so now I can actually so I can actually paint do whatever I want this is not going to be as smooth or as effective as your uh, professional uh, pens like the Wycom ones I have a Wycom pad also it's not here with me so uh, they are much better this is just for general purpose this is not going to be professional general use it's fine but it's not going to be it's not going to be one of those where you give a shade to it and all that uh, you can't make it like when you make your pen go sideways it will give you a thinner line or those kind of things are available on Wycom uh, tablets uh, you don't have that function this is a general one so just remember that okay so all we have to do is go into HP pen control so in this you have top button and bottom button so now in top button you have these options so you can choose from any of that so these are the only option available you cannot add anything more so from this you can choose anything and it will do that now you see the same options are available here so there's nothing below there's nothing on top so you get the same options here and here so you just have to set that and then use it that way I ended up not using the pen because uh, I found my just using my hand to be better so it's much easier and I don't have to bother with the with uh, managing the pen so it's mostly in the box I don't use this so uh, if you want a pen it's good but you won't really end up using this that much unless you are the creative type who wants to draw and wants to do something like that this is not going to come in handy okay so what's my opinion about this now I have a i5 YO there that's a regular Intel dual core uh, processor tablet PC with transformer so which actually transforms into just a tablet so it comes out that is the rogue series laptop now I do not carry my rogue and roam around everywhere because that's too expensive too big and it can actually break uh, this one is something which I uh, which is somewhere in between uh, I get good battery backup I can roam around with this anywhere I can actually use it for uh, most of my editing I cannot use it with uh, Premiere Pro it's not uh, powerful enough for that but I can use like Movie Maker or some other uh, small software to edit on this and because it's SSD uh, the device is super fast and uh, all the things that I do uh, works pretty good on this now uh, on the Vio even though that is a powerful machine uh, because of the hard drive and a lot of moving parts it's not going to be as fast as this one and that's going to be bulkier uh, the tablet PCs uh, the smaller uh, 10 inch ones are actually too small to you so this is just right so the size is good the battery backup is good you uh, the quality the build quality of the uh, laptop is very good so it's a all-rounder laptop so if you want to buy this for 42,000 uh, this is actually value for money so I would advise getting this in case you're not into video editing or if you need some uh, in case you don't want it to uh, play a lot of games then you'll have to go to somewhere like a one lakh uh, laptop that there's a lot of different this is like uh, less than half the price of that so for that you actually get a lot of things so that's basically what I can think about about this laptop right now if I uh, think about anything else I'll put that in the comment and if you have any doubts about it uh, do comment and I'll reply back to that so that's it for this video if you like the video please subscribe hit the like button and do comment and I'll see you again with another video bye bye